Namaste and welcome to this Power Yoga online class. Thank you for supporting Yoga Booster and following our online content in these trying times. We hope to keep giving you uh, content so you can practice yoga at home to keep your body healthy. So today we're going to do a light power session. You can use this as a morning practice or as a warm up to a more dynamic sequence later. The plan is to do two videos, but this is the first where it's a warm up, and then the second part will be uh, a bit more uh, dynamic one. So uh, let's all start in Shavasana, please. Lying back on our backs. Arms down by our side, palms facing upwards. And we close our eyes for a moment. Just letting go of everything around us. And beginning to draw our attention inward. by noticing your breathing without uh, changing anything just observe the air entering and leaving your body noticing any sensation that comes up from within Without trying to label it, without trying to give it meaning, but just experiencing any sensation that comes up from within. Slowly start deepening your inhales, expanding your rib cage, pushing your belly out, and then exhale, drawing your belly and contracting your rib cage. Calm and steady breath throughout class. And always return to the steady breath whenever you come out of sick. Opening your eyes, taking your arms overhead, and then begin stretching your body long. So all the way from the tips of your fingers down to the tips of your toes, stretching from side to side, and just beginning to move your body, finding any tight spaces, and starting to prepare your body for the movement to come in our asana. morning and there's a yawn presenting itself. This is just a sign of your body lacking coffee. So please let it scream, that silent scream for coffee. Taking the arms down by our side, bending our hips and knees to a 90 degree angle. We're going to start moving our knees from side to side, just window wiping them slowly from side to side, in time with our breathing. Okay, we just want to start moving our, the lower part of our spine. Waking up our abdominal muscles. If it's okay for the back, you can start moving in 
larger movement, so your knees come all the way out to the side. Back to the middle. You can straighten out your knees if you like. This makes it a little bit more of a challenge for your abdominal muscles. But again, it should feel okay for the back.
you're going to start rocking and rolling back and forth. Doing little movements to start off with and slowly gaining momentum. And in the end we're going to cross our legs and then rolling through into a plank. If you're ready, I'm going to do one, two, and three. Crossing your legs, rolling in, planting your hands, then put them back into plank. Ah, good old plank. From here, we're going to go forwards on our toes, coming all the way down to the mat. Straightening out our toes, inhale, lifting up into cobra. Exhale, come down. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, come down. One last time, cobra, or you can go all the way into seal. We you take your hands a little further forward, and then pushing yourself up into deeper back bend. So feel how this is for your back. If it's Tap for your lower back and go for a cobra instead. Take a couple of deep breaths. And then coming down to the mat, pushing yourself back into Balasana, child's pose. Taking three deep breaths. Just reconnecting with your breathing. Next inhale, we're going to come forward to all fours. Doing a few cat cows, moving our spine. So on an exhale, rounding our spine, looking in towards our belly. Inhale, letting your belly drop, looking up towards the sky. Exhale, rounding your spine. Inhale, looking up. Keep moving in the time of your own breathing. Maybe closing your eyes and just feeling the movement starting from the top of your head, going all the way down to the base of your tailbone. Spine sideways, taking your hips out to one side, shoulders to the opposite side. So we can barrel roll from side to side. It's free play here, so move any way that feels good for your spine. Maybe there's spaces that's more tight today. And then take time to get movement in those spaces.
We're going to start by getting our weight through the palms of our hands and then lifting and spreading our fingers and then allowing them to come, come down. One more time, lift and spread your fingers and place them down on your mat. Your fingers should be spread ni nicely, giving you a good base of support for when we get our weight through our hands. And your, the crease of your wrists should be in line with the front of your mat. So that once we're moving back and forth in our vinyasa, there's no restriction. It's nice and free movement. Turning your toes under, sitting back towards your heels, and then lifting our hips up, Agha Mukha Sanasana, downward facing dog. You can walk a bit on the spot here, stretching up your calves and hamstring muscles. Again, getting your body used to having the weight through your shoulders. <coughs> Maybe you want to work with the placement of your feet, so your feet are either closer to your hands or further away. Find that, try to find that sweet spot where you have an equal amount of weight through your hands and your feet. And of course, keep breathing the calm, steady breath. Nice inhale, lifting yourself up on your toes. Exhale, come down. Inhale up. Exhale, come down. One last time, inhale up. Exhale, come down. Looking forward, stepping to the front of the mat. Taking a forward fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, Adho Uttanasana, twist, flat back. Exhale, Uttanasana. Inhale, Adho Uttanasana. Exhale, Uttanasana. One more time. Inhale, Adho Uttanasana. Exhale, Uttanasana. On your next inhale, drawing the sun coming all the way up.
now to a flat. Exhale, planting your hands, step or jump back into plank. From here there's an option, you can either go all the way down to the floor for cobra, or if you're ready you can do up dog. So going from high plank to low plank, pushing yourself up for up dog. And then exhale, coming back into a downward facing dog. Taking three deep breaths. Stay safe. Namaste.